section 10.3 today of Math 8, and once again we're trying to model and solve two-step equations, but this time our two-step equations look a little bit different. Instead of it being, and this is what we did last day, a, oops, you don't want that to be highlighted, ax plus b equals to c. Now instead of having ax, it's now x divided by a. So a little bit trickier, but pretty much the same as before. So once again, for modeling, how do we use these algebra tiles? Yeah, 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 I think you remember. The shaded rod is the positive variable. And of course, the unshaded is the negative variable. And to represent the numbers, positive 1 was a shaded small square. And negative 1 was a unshaded small square. All right, so here we go. How do we do this? I will once again try to show you by modeling with these algebra tiles so we have a nice visual picture. And the opposite operation or algebraic method that I hope you will all learn how to do quite well. So here we go. How do we show p divided by 6? So p is our variable. It's positive. So I guess I'm going to draw a positive rod here and shade it in. It's divided by 6. So I'm going to divide this actually into 6 pieces. So 1 two, three, four, five, six. And what I'm saying is P over six just represents this one piece, okay? So that's P over six. We've got to subtract five, so I guess that's five, two, three, four, five, unshaded little squares. And this equals to negative three. So one, two, three on the right-hand side. Okay, so What's our first step? Well, we want to isolate the variable, so I want to actually remove five negatives, but can I do that right away? Because I only see three negatives on the side, and the answer, of course, is uh -uh, no way. So what do you do to try to help you get five negatives to move away? If you answered zero pairs, you are so correct. Uh, so I'm going to draw in two extra zero pairs. Let me erase that. I should draw all the negatives on the left side, positives here. I draw two extra ones because, and if you answer it as, hey, because I can remove these now, because there's five negatives on each side, you are definitely correct. So my new picture now, once again, is my rod divided into six pieces. Okay, but now there is only two positive 2 left over on the right-hand side. So once again, that one particular piece is equivalent to positive 2. So this piece here is positive 2. Now, what's our goal when we're trying to solve algebra here? I want to figure out what is the value that represents one positive variable, which means the entire positive rod. So if each of these little portions are 2, then I guess since they're all equal, this should be also 2, 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 this should be also 2. Which means, of course, then, my rod, which was divided up into 6 pieces, now is equivalent to 2, right? But that's only one part, and how many other 2s do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so additional 5 sets of 2, and if you can add a whole bunch of twos together, you will now know that our answer here is P of a rod is equal to 12. Okay? So this one's a little bit trickier because you're looking at portions of one entire rod. What we did last day is we had multiple rods, so our last step was dividing by a number here. We actually had to multiply. And we can show that, once again, with this opposite operation. I will quickly write down the question, p divided by 6, and you should do the same, minus 5 equals to negative 3. What's our first step in terms of the opposite operation? Well, the opposite operation of minus 5 would be to say it. Good, add 5. And so now we have p divided by 6 equals to negative 3 plus 5, which is 2. So once again, this matches up with this visual picture over here. And then now p over 6 is equal to 2, or divided by 6. The opposite of dividing by 6 is to multiply by 6. That's why we're going to time 6. 
And then we have just left over p on the left side, because 6 times p divided by 6 is just 1p. And 2 times 6 is 12, which is the answer that we had over there. Yay, same. OK. All right, so let's try another one, example number 2. That's the next one underneath. OK, once again, I'm going to ask you to model first and then try opposite operation. Now, if you are very comfortable in doing this and you want the challenge to try it on your own, then once again, pause the tape, try it on your own first, then when you're done, press play and come back and see what I've done, and I hope your answer is right like mine. Okay? So, either you're pausing or you're following along with me. Okay, so here we got five on the left side this time. So, one, two, three, four, five solid ones equals to a which is my variable but it's actually negative a so I'm going to draw a unshaded bar we're still going to split this up into four pieces and then we have a plus two so one two okay what's our goal when we're doing algebra again to isolate the variable so goodbye these little ones I'm going to take two from each side Oops, by the way, I forgot to show that we're using A over 4, so that's just one piece. Okay. So now, uh, oops, let's go now for our next one. We've got 1, 2, 3. We're going to now make that equal to that nice rod, but it's only equal to one portion. Remember, one portion. And our goal is to have it the entire rod filled in, so that's three. I guess this is three, this is three, and this is three. So if I want the entire rod, ah, the entire rod, I guess there are four copies of the three. So here's my first copy, my original one, and then now with the extra one here, the three, I've got another one, another three, another one, another three, one, 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 and there you have it. Our answer is 12 equals to negative a. But wait, we never want to actually solve for a negative of the variable. We want the positive of the variable. So once again, we can flip this around, and we flip it. Our positives become negative. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then our rod, which used to be negative, is now positive. And what does that show both you and I? If you said A equals to negative 12, I'm happy. Okay. Once again, let's do opposite operation to see if we can get the same answer. So I'm going to copy the question again. 5 equals to negative A over 4 plus 2. And once again, you have to decide what's our first operation to undo what this question says. So once again, I want to isolate the variable. And on my right-hand side, I want A by itself. So I've got to get rid of everything else that does not have A. So first of all, let's subtract 2 on both sides. And that gives you 3 equals to negative A over 4. And once again, when we do opposite operation, I want you to look back to the left side here to see how this matches. Okay, These match. What's my next step? Well, instead of dividing by 4, the opposite would be to multiply by 4. So multiply by 4, multiply by 4. 4 times 3 is 12, and this equals to negative a. Once again, notice how I've modeled this, and this is exactly the same thing. And once again, we need to solve for positive a, so this is like where we can multiply or divide by uh, negative 1. It's up to you. I'll just say let's divide by negative 1, or just flipping the signs, and you get negative 12 equal to A. Same. Okay? So, if you think about what I'm doing modeling, it's this really the same thing as doing the opposite operation. Okay? All right, let's do one more, and then we're done for today. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. So here's example three. This one's a little bit trickier to model by algebra tiles, because you're saying here I've got a positive tile called H, and you're dividing it into negative three groups. So how do you divide into negative three groups? Weird. 
But I hope you learned that in the integer unit, uh, positive divided by negative is always a negative. Okay, or also a negative divided by a positive is a negative. If you didn't understand what I just said, let me give you some examples. 6 divided by negative 2, that's the answer negative 3. But if I were to go negative 6 divided by positive 2, the answer is still negative 3. So notice what I did with the negative sign is this negative sign I put up to the top for the uh, example underneath. So what I'm saying to you here is when you see a division by a negative number in terms of the groups, we can then rewrite this as negative h over 3. Okay, so this equation is actually negative h over 3 plus 4 equals negative 1. And this now is exactly the same as what we did on the previous page in example number 2. So go ahead, you do it by algebra tiles and then get the answer, okay? And then I'm not going to speak about that, I'm just going to write it down. You should be able to do this yourself, so once again, try to pause the tape, do it yourself, then come back. And then afterwards, I'll show you the opposite operation as well. Go! There's my negative rod, split into three groups. We're just curious about one of them. Plus four, four, solid, red, squares. One negative, red, square. Got to take away four solids. I don't see any four solids, so hello. Zero pairs. That one's not supposed to be shaded in. Let me erase. Let me replace. Okay. All right. I'll use black to show goodbye, goodbye. And so now, green, okay, still our h over 3. This equals to now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so if I want to now find the entire rod, well, I've got my 5, right, or sorry, negative 5. Here's another negative 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a third negative 5. So that means I have here negative h equals to negative 15. And once again, I'm trying to solve for positive h, so I'm just going to flip it. I'm not even going to draw this one because I ran out of space. h equals to 15, okay? All right, and finally, for opposite operation, once again, you can just do the opposite of what is shown. You don't even have to change the way this one's written anymore. Okay, I just quickly start doing the opposite operations. So how about subtracting 4, first of all? h over negative 3 equals to negative 5. And then now in this case, to solve for h, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3. What's negative 5 times negative 3? That's positive 15. And we have h equals to positive 15. Okay? All right, that's it for today's lesson. But I'd like you to try these exercises underneath on your own. Once again, stop the tape here. Try it on your own first. Then come back and check your answers. Okay? Hope you get this stuff. It's your turn to try. Go. Always check your answers too. Don't forget that. Check. 8 divided by 2 plus 3. That's 4 plus 3. Oh yeah, that's 7. Okay.
Alright, those are my answers. Double check them with yours. I think we got the same thing. And notice I just used opposite operation, because you know what? Drawing is fine for when you're starting to learn it, but when you get good at it, I hope you're going to use algebra. Okay, hope to see you back for section 10.4. Until then, toodly-doo.